was just um, glad to end the weekend 2-0. Um, so it was a good start for us before we head out on the road, get some, you know, some good games underneath our belt. And, um, you know, we started out slow, but I thought we came out strong in the second half and just talked to the team about getting ready to go on the road. You can't start out slow. So hopefully we learn from that moving forward. Man, was this a good game in the sense that, yeah, you got a route, but I'm sure there are plenty of teaching moments in yep. there. I mean, defensively, you know, offensive rebounds, they yep. got a lot. Yep. You know, was that kind of both sides of this game? I'm sure you had yeah. positives and negatives. Yeah, we were talking in there. I mean, we forced 20 turnovers, which was great. We shot the ball well in the second half, but, you know, our, <coughs> our deficiency in this game was definitely our rebounding, you know, and that has to be a part of our identity and who we are um, because, again, those – those easy baskets will cost you on the road. Joanne, you won a game Friday night that kind of went down to the wire and could have gone the other way. To, to win a close game like that early on, does that pay dividends For sure. the rest of the way? Yeah, I think it's just uh, it, it's, it builds confidence. Um, I mean, like you said, it was a, a back and forth game. And so to be able to come out on the upper end and play, for me, we played the last four minutes of that game. Uh, so well, you know, we every we got a stop when we need to get a stop. We hit our free throws, uh, we ran offenses, we hit tough shots, um, we boarded. So more, I mean, the W is great, but it's how we executed down the stretch. You know, that that I thought was really um, good, and especially for a young team. The foul trouble today affect what you wanted to do defensively. Yeah. You played a fair amount of zone. Right? Yeah, we were not planning on playing that much zone, but. We had four or five, every post player with two fouls in the first half. And so came out a little conservative in the second half uh, and stuck with the zone. And since it was working for us, we just stayed with it. A 2-3, though, it wasn't, it wasn't your, your traditional. No, it wasn't our. We haven't put that in yet. So it's just it was just a 2-3. But the press is yeah. you know something we've used in the past. So we're just not there yet in, in terms of putting in that defense and hopefully in Next couple weeks, or by next semester, we'll have that in as well. You guys have only turned the ball over, I think, 15 times in two games, only five turnovers. Two games. I mean, how much of a presence is that to have that, you know, a, a point guard? How much, what does that say about a point guard? Yeah. yeah, I just, you know, people were asking me on Friday and even today, I think that the great thing about Michaela. Um, you know, she didn't let Friday night's her shots not falling affect her. And I thought she was just really poised in that game. I thought she ran the team. You could tell it on her face. She was just, uh, it was just about the win. And so just being a freshman in her first game and obviously then tonight again, just she just had a great poise out there. Faith, uh, four players in double figures today. A couple more were almost there. What do you think of kind of the offensive potential of this team? It seems like there are a lot yeah. of different weapons with Michaela now. Especially. Yeah. I mean, like you said, we have a lot of weapons. Um, we have, you know, great post players down low. Um, Mickey, our point guard, you can, you know, shoot as well. And um, uh, wings like us, like me and Bree. So we have a lot of balance scoring. Joanne, it looked like uh, Sarah I was <coughs> on her way to another 20 rebound night. Are you surprised she did not get her double double tonight? I told her her average is 24. <laughs> she, needs to, she needs to pay attention. Uh, Aaliyah seemed to get good looks tonight. Yeah. She did not make. Do you I want her to keep shooting? Could, yeah, I do. In a game, well, in a game like this, yes, I do. Um, because she, you know, I, she's a good shooter. She really is, and she just has to find her. I think she just has to find her way out there with the lights and the crowds, and you know, again, freshmen, and just she's got to find her way through it. But that's her specialty, and so obviously, if we were in a tight game, that might not be. But for tonight, yeah, I thought she needs to kind of work through some of that stuff. <laughs> the one she got is when she's like, all right, well, I'm just going to drive in here and throw my body into something and get a free throw. Uh, Michaela, you, what has college basketball been like for you? You're two games in. You had not played in a lot of games for a while. Um, it's definitely an adrenaline rush. Um, it's just been a great time. I have great teammates to um, help me out all the time, and um, I'm trying to be as best of a leader as I can out there and be as vocal. Um, and uh, it's just exciting. I love playing in the college game. It's a lot more faster, and you um, have to make really good decisions out there, and that's what I try to do um, well. So, What's kind of your, your mindset going to get? Do you want to get – kind of everybody else involved early on and then kind of feel your – it seemed like that's what happened today. The second half, you had that little spurt there, like four, three possessions where you were shooting. 
earlier on, you were kind of contributing more. Um, definitely. Um, as a point guard, I definitely want to get my teammates involved first. That's my uh, mentality. And I'm, I just let the game come to me. Um, I don't really try to force any shots. Um, so I'm definitely pass first and um, look for my shot. And really, I just try to get Ws. That's uh, my big thing is just getting wins. Is that easy to to get everybody else involved because this team does have a lot of offensive weapons. Um, yes, it does. Like I said, we have great um, guards out there, and balanced scoring is um, key for us. Um, so, I mean, they have they they get good shots off, and um, definitely I like getting passing first, and then trying to get my my shots will come later. So, I'm not worried about that. Were you in a bit of a groove there? That, that <laughs> the um, I think so. Yes, I was. Faith, how much does having the kind of a true point guard? help this team offensively? Yeah, I mean, it helps a lot, um, you know, especially coming into tougher games, moving forward, you know, there's going to be teams that press us a lot, and just, it's great to have, you know, more of a ball handler, as, you know, for Mickey, and um, it's just great, she's great to have for us. And you guys, I mean, a lot of that was happening kind of on the low blocks, but what do you yeah. think with struggles with, the, with rebounding tonight? I mean, I guess in the zone, sometimes you're out of position, but... I don't really think that's a great excuse for us because we definitely could, you know, box out on that. But I just think maybe the zone um, put us out of position a little bit. Hi. Um, I have a few questions for Coach. So in these two games, how the freshmen, did they meet, match your expectations to exceed them or – did they play below your expectations? No, they definitely did play below. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, they, they, I thought they did a great job. Mainly, we had some foul trouble. I mean, that's been our biggest thing is they, they're over, they have to figure out the college game and the refs and how to, physical they can play and how they can't play out of position. And we always talk about doing your work early. And if you do your work early, you're going to minimize the amount of fouls you have. So just letting them play through some of that stuff. But um, but I think for freshmen and the min minutes they've gotten in, in the first two games, they've done a really good job. And they're only going to be better in the next, you know, you get 10 games of experience and there'll be different players by the time ACC comes around. And how were you guys able to hold on Radford's top player to only three points and it came um, in the in the second half? Yeah, I mean, it, I think we just knew, you know, we did a scouting report on her, and uh, we knew that she was one of their better players. And so I think we were just um, engaged with her throughout the game, and we never really lost her in the zone and just really try to keep a, an arm's length dis distance from her so we could kind of match up with her. But um, but I thought the team did a good job. The scout this morning, they knew kind of the personnel and um, their strengths, and we just tried to take their better players out of the game. And lastly, can you talk a little more in depth about um, next week's opponents well, I can talk to you a little bit about Xavier since I haven't looked further ahead, but um, scrappy, guard-oriented team. They'll press the whole game, man-to-man um, -man defense. Um, they try and play up-tempo. They really want to kind of get you in a track meet. So we're just going to be able to control tempo and take what's you know going to be good for us, which is going to be an inside-outside game. But they don't have a lot of height, so I would assume that we're going to try and you know get the ball inside a little bit as well. Um, we just have to learn how to play with the refs, you know. We just have to learn how to do it. I mean, they're they're scrappy, so hopefully they're the ones in foul trouble. Um, but we just got to take care of the ball, which we've been doing, and we got to get people in position to score. They can score for us. We got to take advantage of the mismatches that we might have in that game, and we got to rebound. It's in that two three. Obviously, you knew they were going to shoot. I mean, they yeah. lens the three point shots, but one of eighteen from three was yeah. that. More your defense or more their inability? I'm going to say it was our defense. <laughs> but um, I'm sure he would look at that and say they just didn't have a good scoring night. So I'm sure it was a balance of both. But I thought we had great activity in the zone. You know, I thought we had really good activity. And uh, and obviously, when you're a, a set shooter, I mean, you need that space. And I don't think we gave their shooters a lot of space tonight.